Weather is strange and unpredictable. But what could be stranger than animals falling from the sky with the rain? This strange phenomenon has been recorded since biblical times. Is this an act of God, or does science have a rational explanation? Out of all the meteorological phenomena that are amazing, animals falling from the sky has got to be one of the most fantastic ones. Yeah, I thought, well, what happened here? Who threw these out the car window? Animal X travels to Ipswich in Queensland, Australia, to speak to Harold Deegan, who has witnessed firsthand animals falling from the sky. Harold and his wife, Deborah Deegan, have lived in Ipswich all their lives. This isolated community is a most unlikely place to experience a fish fall. I was thinking about going down, down to the house for dinner from the shed. <laughs> no, just push straight down on the ground. And it was probably 80 foot across, 20 foot long, all these little tiny fish. I thought, well, wow, where did they come from? You know, and you look up and you're surely not out the sky. These were all of a two inch length, all cold, all one thing. So it must have been one school of fish that had got close to the surface, yeah. I don't know how they got delivered right to our house. Yeah, it was a bit of a phenomenon. There's no doubt about that. The Deegans is not an isolated case. There have been hundreds of incidences all around the world. Oliver Crimmin is curator of fishes at the Natural History Museum in London. He has investigated a number of reported cases in Britain. In 1984, people phoned the museum with reports of um, fishes falling from the sky in London. And an investigator went to um, somebody's house in East Ham in London and retrieved fishes from the roof. They are flounders and smelt. Looking at them, these fish, although different shapes, a long, thin smelt and a flat flounder, they're of approximately the same weight, so the, one could imagine they might be graded out um, as they were lifted from the, the, from the water surface. Professor Robert McKinnell is one of the world's leading amphibian experts. There are all kinds of uh, folk tales about amphibians. And a common one is a rain of frogs. I will attempt to make an explanation for you. Here in benign North America, we do have some real weather. I come from an area that's known as Tornado Alley, and tornadoes can really whip up a storm. If this tornado or this whirlwind, a ferocious whirlwind, should go over a pond that has frogs that will suck up water, and someplace the frogs will come out of the sky. Professor Marcin Zamowski from the Nevada Desert Institute is a meteorological expert. He believes that the answer comes from nature. The tornado or the water spout has to come over just the right location and has to be the right intensity to be able to pick up the living uh, creatures into the final cloud and up into the updraft. A water spout is literally a tornado on water and can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. The power of these water spouts is so immense that they can suck up small creatures such as frogs and fishes and transport them great distances before sending them back to Earth. The phenomenon is so unusual and so amazing that for a number of years uh, people considered it to be just a fairy tale or made up stories rather than an actual uh, occurrence. What is even more remarkable is that the animals can survive the ordeal. Fish are quite tough. It's not an impossible that a, a fish would survive that journey. The frog's not necessarily going to die simply because it's been sucked up in the air. And then when it flops down on the earth, it may very well hop away. While it appears that science can provide us with a logical explanation for this strange occurrence, for witnesses of a downpour of animals from the heavens, it remains as mesmerizing as it is mystifying. 